Well, after a dramatic night at the Grange Reserve, 3-3 three, three it finishes as Marcus Schroen pops up with a stoppage time equaliser. I'm here with the head coach, Louis Itsevsky. Louis, what did you make of that? What happened out there tonight? Where do you start? Yeah, well, um, yeah, look, it's uh, obviously we got off to a good start. Bally's got a crack at goal. Um, then we can see it again, um, you know, uh, it's from a set piece, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, then we score the, the second one, obviously, and we're 2-1 up. Um, from from us, from our set piece when Dino scores and we come in half time when we speak about a couple of things about improving a couple of things uh, that we need to improve on and uh, maintain a few things and then we come out we can see a goal again two minutes in um, and then you know three two went three two down for a good chunk of the second half and we're trying to scratch and fight etc but you know conceding goals is hurting us uh, at the moment six goals in two games and. You're away from home, and we've scored five goals in two weeks, and when you know we've got one point out of it, so it's pretty um, heartbreaking for the boys in there, uh, obviously. But uh, um, yeah, we just need to learn from that. I mean, at least for it speaks to the character of the boys that they kept fighting right until the end and, and snatched a point when it looked like the game might be done. Yeah, look, we we, we talk about the character and the personnel there inside the change room. We talk about it at training. If you know, if you come and watch them at training, the boys, you know, they give a hundred percent. I can't question that at all. Their effort, uh, their intent, their application, their movement um, is, is always there at training, you know. Uh, it's, it's great character to come down from 3-2. Uh, but can we can we not concede a goal um, of a simple error? That's that's what we need to work on. Um, that's the area of the game that, you know, uh, the last few weeks that we've struggled on. But, you know, look, uh, we, we have to go back to the drawing board on uh, Monday training and improve that. Very young backline out there tonight, average age 21, 22, bit of a learning experience for these boys. Yes, of course, and we, we spoke about that, you know, you know, Dom, Azza, um, you know, obviously Larson and, and Chris, I think 22, is the, if, if that, you know, um, at the oldest one of them. Um, so, yeah, they're babies when it comes to age, but at the same time, they're men, they're out there playing football. So, um, regardless of the age, we need to be better at things. Um, you know the boys up front we need to take our chance the boys in defense need to save the goalkeepers there in goal to make that save when required and, and so on everybody's got their role to play in this game so age is just a number um, they're here because we you know we believe they're really good footballers and um, we, we know the younger boys uh, will make mistakes we understand that because we're building for something we're building something in the next 12 months etc um, you know with, with things happening at the club but at the same time we're seven games in we're dropping points uh, that we shouldn't be dropping. Uh, you know, we're taking a, a 2-1 lead away from home. You need to carry that momentum and, and kill off the game, 3-1, securing the back line. Um, you know, and, you know we, we've made a few changes in the last seven weeks occasionally. I think it was after round four. Um, so we'll have a look this week at training. And stepping back from the, the league fixtures for a moment, but we've got Australia Cup action coming up next Thursday night. City Vista, nominal home game, but uh, a Jenna Steel Stadium getting, still getting resurfaced. So uh, Dandenong City, if we rewind back to 2019, that was a pretty memorable cup tie with, uh, was it Alex Tanevsky scoring the hat-trick? Nice to come up against uh, Dandy City again. Yeah, look, we've got a bit of a rival, uh, rivalry with Dandy City, you know, last year, obviously, and then the cup games, but... They're a good bunch of boys there at that club and uh, some good, really good people. And Tolls is obviously a really good coach. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. We should be a good crowd on Thursday night. Uh, Easter Eve, you know, people going away and the rest of us. So the night before, hopefully we can get everybody down there at City Vista, um, put on a good show and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try our best to try and progress to the next round. Well, Louis, best of luck in the Cup next week. And uh, well done on securing a point in stoppage time. Uh, send these fans home with something. And uh, look forward to going again next week. Thanks again, Josh.